The 6-6 Demigod is finally here. The build that's able to shoot anything because it has such a high three ball. Oh my god, I fade. Oh! The build that gets some of the best sigs, some of the best playmaking badges, and can break any defender that tries to guard him. I'm over here with it! You know what color that means? You know I mean? And why stop there? No, 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 no. This build gets contact dunks. Some of the best dunking animations in the game. And just when you thought we were finished, we also have great defense. Playing lanes, getting blocks, doing legit everything on the court. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the ultimate sharpshooter build. My 6'6 six, six sharpshooter, I really think is game breaking. This build is so fun to use. I haven't touched any other build that I've made in like the past two weeks. Since I've made this build, I've only played on this build. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. But like I said, let's go ahead and get into this video so you can make this overpowered 6'6 six, six sharpshooter build. <laughs> All right, so getting to the build, we're gonna create our own build. Yeah, jersey number. Let's try to get that one number. Ah, oh, they. I hate it. You can't. You can't pick that number anymore. Whatever. All right, continue. And we are gonna be, you know, six 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 six. We are gonna be lowest weight too, one eighty. And then our wingspan isn't gonna be lowest wingspan. It's gonna be six eight. So I will, like I said, I will go over like another or an alternate version of this build, and it will have lowest wingspan. But the build I made, six eight. Press continue. So starting off, bro. I mean, the finishing is perfect. Our high driving dunk gets us. Oh my god. The contact dunks you get on this build are amazing we get pro touch gold on this build so if you don't know how overpowered that badge is if you pair pro touch gold with a close shot and i'm not talking like an 80 i'm talking like a 40 close shot you can literally post up and i'm not talking about just like post looking in the paint i'm talking about you can post up from the free throw line so we get pro touch gold we get our contact dunks we get our standing dunks finishing is literally perfect on this build and so starting off like i said we're gonna have that 90 driving dunk and so i've made builds with a 96 driving dunk i made builds with a 94 90 is really the sweet spot so boom we got the 90 driving dunk we're gonna have the 70 driving layup for the standing dunk we are gonna have a 65 and this is gonna give us the elite rim hang pulls which is a pretty good dunk package and it's just like a high standing dunk all right so next is gonna be the shooting and i mean this is my second build of the year with like a high three ball like this it is so broken it, it, it's really broken having a really high three ball most of my builds have like a 76 or 80 this build has a 92 so you can pull from really deep and the majority of the time when there's not the delay kicking in bro you're not missing shots like i shoot 70 percent from the field no 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 i shoot 70% from the three on the twos. And so getting to the stats, we're gonna have a 90 mid range. And so the build that I'm gonna show you later on in the video, like the alternate version of this build, it's not gonna have a 90 mid range. But the one I made, 90 mid range and a 92 three ball. So 91, 92, boom. Bro, these shooting stats are amazing. You get blinders gold, dead eye gold, catch and shoot gold, green machine gold, space creator gold, comeback kid, hall of fame, guarded gold, mini magician gold. You get all these good, great badges, right? I wanna say the first like three days I made the build or like I used the build. Let, let's say, let's say I played, 80 games right out of those 80 games i missed like three catch and shoots there's straight twos courts i missed like three catch and shoots it bro catch and shoots are damn near automatic I'm telling you these shooting stats are amazing next we got the playmaking and so i really found like the sweet spot for this playmaking stuff people be trying to up the pass act too high or they don't have enough ball handles so they can't speed boost or they have too much speed with the ball i'm telling you i'm gonna give you the best playmaking attributes and stuff you're gonna be able to get all the great sigs you're not gonna be moving slow or anything i'm not setting y'all up you're gonna be throwing good passes because the pass accuracy is amazing i'm telling you i've tested out a lot of stuff in this game the pass accuracy that i have in my opinion is the best that you're gonna have on a build like this so get into the playmaking we have a 75 pass act and so with a 77 you get needle threader and relay passer but like you don't really need them so this alone gets you john morant pass style which is pretty good in my opinion is one of the best in the game and also you can actually just try using normal pass style and i'm not gonna lie the pass back to be pretty fast so try that out but 75 pass act 85 ball handle and this is just enough for us to speed boost and get like majority of the good sigs for being above 6.5 and then the speed of the ball 75 and so we have to go 75 so we can get speed booster silver it's not popping up right now because we still need to do our acceleration and speed and stuff but since magic johnson is patched or like it's not good anymore for the dribble style i like to use lebron now which is very good or you could use pro but yeah this is the perfect attributes for a build that's over 6.5 in my opinion you can go higher on this stuff for me personally this is what has worked best for me over like my past eight builds all right the defense this is going to be a very very controversial thing for a lot of people you know i don't have perimeter i have no perimeter on my build but like as you've seen in my past videos and stuff ever since my burly build i haven't made builds with perimeter my burly didn't have perimeter my popper didn't have perimeter my 6-7 had a 75 my jared smith build my lebron build my dirk build i made a 6-8 build that i never dropped that one didn't have perimeter also but other than that every other build hasn't had perimeter defense in my opinion you really don't need it it's not an issue screens aren't an issue i fight through screens i have a high steal on this build 
build so i actually get plucks on people i get lanes i get a lot of blocks which is really weird i don't know why i get so many blocks on this build i have high rebound because i get rebound chaser on this build and yeah like i can hold my own perfectly just fine coming from someone who plays stage like i play stage twos i play stage ones i play against post scores i play against gar I, I play literally every type of player in the game you're not going to struggle on defense you're just not so with the stats we are going to have an 85 still and so i've made builds with a 91 still an 89 still 95 still and really for a build above 65 that's not maining lock i think 85 is the best you still get a lot of on ball stills you get just as many as gold glove you get lanes 85 is perfect in my opinion it's perfect unless i make a dedicated lock build i don't think i'm ever go higher than 85 our block we are gonna go 70 so i think this maxes it out 65 oh 70 70 boom and this is just so you get chase on artists and so with chase on artists you only need a 68 i think yeah boom you only need a 68 but we had extra stats so we're gonna go 70 and it just looks a little bit cleaner the 70 block so all right we are gonna have a 65 interior defense and this is just gonna be high enough to get us workhorse it's not popping up because the stamina stuff but we're gonna get workhorse you're gonna have the 55 perimeter defense like i promise you it's not an issue it's not and with our offensive rebound we're gonna max this out at a 60 and this is just high enough to get us rebound chaser and post move playmaker or post is a post move or just post playmaker we really don't care about that badge we care about rebound chaser and if you ever want to get rebound chaser on the build you always want to go for the offensive rebound you don't want to do the defensive rebound because you save more points doing the offensive so boom that's the finishing out the way and then finally with the physicals i mean we're fast if you look at the dribbling that i'm doing you won't even be able to tell what type of acceleration i have excel doesn't matter in this game like it did last year it's nice having it but once again you don't need it we have a high vert so we get the blocks you have a lot of stam and i mean the builds physicality or physicals in general it's just perfect so starting off we are going to have an 81 speed so boom 81 speed so this is going to give a speed booster silver hyperdrive silver is going to be making you move pretty fast 81 speed is more than enough our excel it's gonna stay at a 66 so you might be thinking like that's really low i'm telling you all those clips you dead wouldn't even know that i have a 66 acceleration excel in this game it kind of affects how fast you are with the ball but it really affects how fast you are without the ball that's why you don't really need it too much this year with our strength we are gonna have a 60 strength and so i went 60 so we get physical handles bronze and now this badge triggers but it doesn't trigger very often but like you also do want to just have strength on a build that doesn't have perimeter defense so me having a 55 perimeter without any strength people would just blow by me so the 60 i feel is a sweet zone it's perfect and yeah you're not just going to be getting babied all the time our vertical though we are going to have a 78 vertical and so this is very important the 78 allows you to get the contact dunk animations if you didn't have it this high you would not get all the contact dunks so make sure that's 78 and then finally with the stamina just want to max it out boom to a 99 and so to recap i think there were only one or two loose stats so we have the 60 close shot if we try to drop this down the midi drops so boom the 70 layup it gets us pro touch gold scooper float game two steps from the side it gets us all these great finishing badges the driving dunk gets us the contact dunks we get precision dunker gold slithery silver silver post riser and i'm telling you if you know how to use a dunk meter this is more than enough the 65 standing dunk gets us the elite rim hang pools the 90 midi gets us all these great shooting badges 92 three ball you're not going to be missing open shots free throw i mean i don't play rec so no free throw but 75 pass that gets you the john Morant pass style you can speed boost perfectly fine you get lebron james dribble style as well as silver speed booster you can hold your own in the paint with the 65 interior and workhorse no perimeter defense but i'm telling you you really don't need it the 85 still which gets you silver gloves silver interceptor silver right side gripper all those great badges to get lanes and steals on people you have a 70 block i'm telling you you get chase downs you get rebound chaser you're fast you can hold your own get the contact dunks it's perfect so boom i'm gonna click x and it's gonna say we have shades of i honestly don't remember who is it world be free lonzo ball and De'Aaron fox and this is the sharpshooter build if it pops up boom love this build and so real quickly i'm gonna go over the alternate version of this build and shout out to my boy deb he's one of my viewers who like put me onto this so i'm gonna just edit the build real quick the first thing we're gonna do is lower this wingspan boom we're gonna lower it just one tick down to a six seven and then we're gonna take off the midi and just drop it all the way down to an 84 and when you do that you're able to put your other stats on like your three ball and boom so now we have an 84 midi and a 93 three ball but we get the exact same badges i wish i knew this when making the build it's like you get to save a lot more stats so like now i get to put some of these stats on other things so we still get open looks hall of fame we still get mini magician gold we still get all these great badges and now we can put for example i guess we could probably get yeah we can definitely we can get needle threader now so you can get needle threader if you do this if you wanted kimba step back you get kimba i personally am not gonna do that oh with your excel i think you can get blow by silver now let's say we drop down the pass act boom 75 i think you need a 73 for a blow by silver let's see i know i can change something i know i can change something oh we can drop our block down to a 68 but our rebound our rebound's only a 60 now so we don't even get rebound chaser i think if i do this no hmm so i guess you would sacrifice rebound chaser i guess it's still a 50 it's only one tick off if you lower the defensive rebound instead of a 45 to a 44 
Core. Boom, you can get Acceleration and you get Blow by Silver now. You know, little stuff like that. That's if you lowered your wingspan a little bit and went the 93 3 ball and the 90 midi. I don't know. Both builds are really good though. So, oh, one more thing. If you made the build with a 93 3 ball and the 84 midi, you wouldn't get the name Sharpshooter. I mean, that's not really an issue for most people. But yeah, if you made the build exactly like I did, you would be a Sharpshooter. So, there's that. And I'm just like briefly show what I would upgrade on this build starting off. And so, I think this is what I did with my build. Like, when I first made my build, this is exactly what I did. I know I up my three ball, I up my dunk and all that, my playmaking, my vert so I can get my contact dunks. I don't think I touched my strength. I know for a fact I didn't touch my perimeter. I actually didn't touch my perimeter until I was like a 95 overall. Like I went like two weeks having a 26. Yeah, yeah, I went like two weeks straight having a 26 perimeter defense, playing in stage and winning. So like, I mean, you really don't need it, but you know, it's nice to have. So when you actually do maxes out to a 55, you do get more contests on people. But if you're just playing park, if you play just even decent defense, you'll get stops. It's just, it's just a fact. You're 6'6". Six, six. People aren't just shooting over you, all right? <laughs> People don't just chuck up contested shots. You have to think about that. So this is probably what I will upgrade. <laughs> the old heads be like, oh, I'm just shoot over you with my with my 6'3 guard. Right. I'm going I'm to shoot over you with my 7 foot center. If you think someone's really just going to sit in your face and shoot over you, we're not playing the same game. It does. People don't do that. Now, if the build was like 6'2 or something with no perimeter defense, yeah, that's troll. But we are legit. We are 6'6. Six, six. Like I said, I'll never make a build with perimeter defense again unless it's like a uh, dedicated a lot build that's just me though so that's the sharpshooter build hopefully you enjoyed this video it's been your boy gb3 and i'm out y'all